how's it going guys welcome to another video and this one i will show you how to remap the cano controller inputs so as you can see these are these are the original inputs where b is b and a is a for example i've created an h mod which allows you to edit these inputs so let's go to the pc and i'll show you how it's done Okay, so back on the PC, you want to download this HMOD and you want to unpack it so that you can reach it from here. And then you just install it like any other HMOD. And now when we update the FileZilla program here, we have another folder called SDL2 override. In here is the modified uh, controller database. So from here, we can download this TXT file and modify it if we want to. Or before you install the HMOD, you can edit the file on your PC. Now this HMOD comes with a pre-configured A and B buttons. Uh, so the A acts as B and B acts as A. And to change that, you can just change the B1 to B0 and the B0 to B1. It's as easy as that. And when we uninstall the HMOD, the SDL2 override folder is deleted. So now everything is back to normal, um, including this game controller database TXT file. Okay, so if we install the HMOD, I will demonstrate what it does without modifying anything. Okay, so let's go back to the SNES. Okay, so back on the SNES, we're about to try the module. As you can see, now B is acting as A and A is you acting as B. So let's try it with the PlayStation 4 controller and see what happens. I got this idea because when I was using my PlayStation 4 controller, the cross on the controller was acting as back or as uh, B. So that's why I had this idea that how do I get the cross to act as A? And this is the result, basically. And as you can see, cross now acts as A and circle acts as B. Alright guys, enjoy. Hope you find this module uh, useful. Thank you.